Hey everybody. Uh, today I thought I would show y'all something a little different. Uh, how to uh, mount your GoPro on your metal detector. Uh, this is just, uh, of course, just one way of doing it. But I like it because I don't like to wear a lot of stuff on me when I'm hunting. I like to be able to hunt and not have to worry about my video so much, you know, or if it's, you know, on my hat and have to worry about it, if it's framing right or, you know, I like to keep it simple. So uh, anyway, I want to show you a way that you can mount this on your detector. It's very simple, but it's pretty effective. So let me show it to you. Okay, now the jasmine's out of the way. So here it is. Uh, it's a pretty simple setup. I've got it mounted to uh, my armrest. And it's on a little uh, ball head. It works real well. And the cool thing about it is... Uh, like when you set your detector down to dig, all you have to do is turn it and you can film your dig. And then flip it back. You want to view your screen. So uh, let's go into the workshop. I'm going to show you what you need to do to get this mounted on here right and everything you'll need. I need to put one on my Equinox. I haven't done that yet. So... Let's do that. Okay, let me show you what you're going to need. First of all, of course, you know you're going to need a GoPro. Um, and I'm just using the plain frame and just a GoPro mount, standard uh, one quarter 20 threads. And then uh, you're going to need a one inch, actually, no, this is a half inch. Um, uh, I guess they call it a button head. It's got a hex screw on it. I like this because it won't scratch you or anything when you're when you're using it. So anyway, that's what I use. We're going to cut that down a little bit. And then um, the other thing you're going to need is a cold, what they call a cold shoe. And you can get this at a camera store. That's where I got mine. Or you can order it on the internet or whatever. And I like this one with the little screw here that tightens down the tension. Um, it just seems to be a little more secure than the the regular ones but this will work too if you want to just get a plain one like this so uh, then uh, the other thing you're going to need is a ball head this is a very small ball head by Giotto's I'll try and put links to all this stuff in the description make it easier for you all to find and this here now this is the only other thing you're going to have to get and you'll probably have to get this on eBay this is a tripod screw to flash shoe mount adapter and we're not going to use these screws on the top of here, or these uh, nuts, or whatever you want to call them, uh, thumb screws. We're not going to use those. We just want this center piece here. And uh, so uh, we're going to have to cut it down a little bit too. And I'm just using a Dremel with a, with a little cutoff wheel. And um, after I, I cut the screws down, then I usually use like a little Kratex a little Kratex wheel. It's just like a rubber to kind of polish it so that it, the threads are uh, smooth, you know, on the, on the tip so it goes in the hole easier, easier to get in and out. But anyway, so uh, let me get on the first part. Oh, and by the way, just to show you all this, this is a, I use this for my lens cover on my GoPro. It is a, a floor protector a table leg tip, I guess you would call it, but it's seven eighths. You can get them Home Depot. It's just a little thin plastic, but it, it stays on there really well, really tight. It kind of have to try pretty hard to get it off there. I've never lost one. But anyway, that works great for protecting your lens on your GoPro. Uh, this is GoPro 4, so and the newer ones, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I just thought I'd show you that. Okay, let me get to the first part, and uh, I'll show you what we're going to do. Get this started. Okay, step one. We're going to take this, uh, this screw, it's a quarter 20, and we're going to cut it down, cut about a quarter of an inch off of it. The reason we're doing that is because it's going to mount this to the, uh, to the armrest, and we don't want it to 
to go all the way up through the hole. On this particular mount, it probably won't, but if you have one like this, then it probably will. But anyway, we're gonna cut a little bit of that off and to save some time, and I'm sure y'all don't wanna watch me do all that, just use a, a cutoff wheel to cut, cut it off. This is what I get. So I got one already done. So we cut it down to about like that. Okay, the next step we're gonna do is we, we took this uh, these thumb screws off of this piece here. This is the piece we want. We're gonna take it and we're gonna cut it down to where there's just about, oh, about a quarter of an inch showing at the top of that. So this is gonna go into the bottom of this uh, ball head so that you can slip it into the hot shoe. So anyway, uh, we'll just cut off, uh, we'll probably leave about a half inch or so on this. That's about all you need. So let me cut that off and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. That's what we get when you cut that piece off of there. Just want it about that long. Next thing we do is we're gonna take the uh, ball head and that goes into the ball head like that okay now the next part we're going to do is we're going to take the um, cold shoe mount and we're going to mount it to the armrest and let me show you how to do that okay the next thing you're going to want to do on your armrest I hope you all can see this but I made a little cut down here with my Dremel and a ball burr. See how that's like a little half moon right there? And you want that just big enough to where you can slip this quarter 20 screw in. Just like that. And the next thing we're going to do, now we can attach this uh, cold shoe to it. So let me do that and I'll be back. Okay, I got the um, cold shoe attached to the armrest. Next thing to do is to put on your ball head. Just slip it in there. Tighten it down a little bit. Swivel the mounting screw up and towards the top. And then just put on your GoPro. All done. Only other thing I wanted to say too was on this little screw right here, get a stainless steel one your arm kind of, uh, you know, sweats in here and it can make that rust. So stainless steel is uh, much better. So anyway, that's, that's pretty much it. So let's, uh, let's take it out for a test run and I'm going to show y'all what the uh, video's like. Uh, get some sample shots. So you can kind of see there's a t uh, something I want to show you too about videoing like this. I've got a little tip for you. Okay. Let's check it out. Okay, here we are. So uh, this is it, set up on the detector. So I'm gonna switch over to uh, the GoPro video now. Okay, the thing that I wanted to tell you is whenever you're using this and videoing in this way, if you do these real long, fast arches, People are going to get, uh, well, some people probably might get motion sickness, eh? a lot of motion. So I try to keep it more in straight line whenever I hunt. Or when, actually, whenever I get to a spot, say I get a signal and I want to dig that, you know, I may have been going like this, you know, faster. And I'm not going to show all that on my video, but whenever I come up to a spot and I find one I do want to dig, then what I'll do is I'll back off of it and I'll start going more straight and a little bit slower. And I, that's what I'll cut into my video so they don't have to see all of that, mo get motion sickness from all of that 
fast swinging. See, so compared to this. Otherwise, I just have my regular way, let my GoPro keep going. Maybe cut in a few pieces like this, but too much of it makes people dizzy. At least it does me, it may not you, but and that's just my thoughts on it. But anyway, I hope this uh, helps. I hope some, some of you guys can use this this way. It's a pretty neat way to hunt. So like now, as I say, I do get a signal I, wanna, I want to uh, video. What I do, is I spin my detector around and I set it down right in front of the spot that I pinpointed and then just swivel the GoPro around and aim it down to where I want to oops sorry about that aim it down aim it down to where I want to hunt I mean where I want to where I want to dig then whenever I get through digging and show my find then all I do is swivel the GoPro back to my screen and go back to my hunt. Simple as that. Okay guys, I hope uh, some of y'all can use this and uh, be sure to, to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the like button if you don't mind. And I've got some other things that I'm planning on uh, putting out there for y'all to see. So anyway, y'all have a good day. Stay safe out there, and uh, we'll talk to you later. See you on the next one.